Welcome to this lesson on audience demographics and segmentation. Today, we'll learn about the different categories of audience segmentation, give you examples of the way audiences are grouped for each type, discuss the reasons and benefits of segmentation, and explore how audience characteristics influence the design and production of media products. Let's dive in. Audience segmentation is the process of dividing a large audience into smaller groups based on shared characteristics. Here are some common categories of audience segmentation. Age groups people based on their age or age range are children, teenagers, young adults or seniors. Gender categorizes people by their gender, such as male, female or non-binary. Occupation groups individuals based on their job or industry, like healthcare professionals, educators or engineers. Income divides people by their income levels, such as low, middle, or high income. Education segments people by their educational background, including high school graduates, college students, or those with postgraduate degrees. Location separates individuals by their geographic location, such as urban, suburban, or rural areas, or even by country or region. Interests groups people by their hobbies, preferences, or activities, like sports enthusiasts, foodies, or tech lovers. And lifestyle categorizes individuals based on their habits, values, and daily routines, such as eco-conscious consumers, fitness enthusiasts, or luxury seekers. Now that we understand the different categories of audience segmentation, let's explore the reasons and benefits. One reason for audience segmentation is that your products can be better customized and personalized for your customers. You can customize the formatting, features, and pricing to match their expectations much more effectively. Another benefit of audience segmentation is that your marketing will be more effective as you can target the people most likely to buy your media product and not waste time and money marketing to people that would never be interested. Finally, it can help to identify new media products by identifying demographics that you aren't targeting, but could do so by developing a new product. Finally, let's discuss how audience characteristics influence the design and production of media products. Age-based design may feature bright colors for children, while older audiences may prefer simpler color schemes and more text. Gender preferences, without reinforcing stereotypes, may include pastel colors for feminine audiences and darker tones for masculine audiences. Neutral tones cater to broader audiences. Media can appeal to individuals with specific occupations or income levels by emphasizing value for lower income groups or luxury for higher income demographics. Education-based design could involve formal language for well-educated audiences or targeting them with products like art house films. Location-based design may highlight local products use location-specific colors, or incorporate cultural aspects like language. Interests can be targeted using imagery and colors associated with the demographic's hobbies, such as snowboarding imagery for a snowwear website. And lifestyle-focused design may include nature-related colors for a healthy lifestyle or imagery of people exercising for fitness enthusiasts. Ultimately, understanding and addressing these factors can help create effective media content that resonates with target audiences. In conclusion, audience segmentation is a critical process in media production and marketing. By understanding the characteristics and needs of different audience segments, producers can create tailored content and products that are more likely to resonate with their intended audience and lead to greater engagement and success.